everybody, my name's Leona from Superconscious Soul and this is your North Node in Capricorn reading. So, if your North Node is in Capricorn, that means your South Node was in Cancer. This is for your natal chart placement, not your star sign. If you want the star sign readings for Cancer, uh, Capricorn, sorry, if you go to my uh, page, you can find them in the playlist. So... North node in Capricorn, where do they need to push towards? Where is their soul expansion, soul growth this month? Where are they needing to head towards in August? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Where are they needing to head towards? Right, I'm being told to cut. So, old focus. The devil. Work, money. Lust for some of you, temptation behind you, the three of swords. Oh, it could be love or, or um, the lack of it or problems around love. We also have the four of swords. Yeah. So it could be that you're healing from problems around love. We have the issue as the high priestess. This is telling you that you're very intuitive this month. We have the tower as you now so that's kind of like an implosion <sighs> yeah it's a, where you're going to direct that energy this month it could also be something coming in that takes something away that was supposed to be taken away for your highest good in order to build more stability especially for you capricorns we got distracting you the wheel of fortune Helping is the two of wands. Your new focus is the queen of pentacles, very Capricorn. Ahead of you, we've got the nine of wands. And the knight of swords. So, underneath the deck, we have the knight of pentacles. Now, this is the slowest moving knight in the deck, yeah? But... He's moving still. So he's, it's about setting your goals this month for you guys. Setting um, what is going to take you forward to help you get to that Queen of Pentacles there is your new focus, yeah? How are you going to get to that next step? What is that? What does that next step look, at, look like? And is there things that are just distracting you from that step, from going in your truth? Is it just haze that's kind of blocking you? Yeah, this is talking about keep putting one foot in front of the other towards that goal. But it's about knowing what that goal is and not letting kind of anything tempt you off of that goal. We do have the chariot card, which is the victory card. And it also talks about kind of learning certain levels of maturity, getting to a certain level of maturity, learning certain lessons, yeah? It's about having your head and your heart on the same page for, for you guys as well. So that will bring in more clarity and more um, new beginnings, more joy for you guys. So I'm just going to pull some of these oracle cards a minute, just to expand on the reading. Because I felt like I was running out of time in the last reading. So, let's expand now so we can go in fully. Right, the devil card. Wind. Okay, so, the gate and rain. Then for the high priestess and the tower. Wheel of fortune. Oh, we've got one dropped. We'll have that. And that, right. So, oh, new focus, Queen of Pentacles. Right, so, first of all, your old focus is the devil, yeah? Now, the devil is temptation. It's things that kind of tie you in. So it's like saying, um, oh, I really want that phone, but I'm going to be tied into a 10 year contract if I take it. Yeah, this is things trying to distract you, trying to, in some senses, blow you off course here with the wind. It's trying to. It's trying to change your direction in some senses. Yeah. Yeah. 
it's also 56 so it's 11 so it's in some senses it's trying to get you out of balance because we break it down to a two yeah right now you're being called to kind of adapt yeah to not let things kind of blow you off course right now yeah but you have to know what that course is in order for these things not to blow you off course yeah you need to know what that direction is because there's going to be a lot of temptations that's lust desires yeah we also have the three of swords with the gate so this is about opportunities so in some senses I'm seeing that certain heartbreak or certain relationships that are in your life are holding you back from going through this gate, from going from, they, they, there's causing a kind of indecision for you, yeah? Because you feel like you're being taken off course in some sense. We also had rain and the four of swords in reverse, yeah? So... Now, with next to the Three of Swords and the Four of Swords, I would say that there's some healing going on, yeah? It's like you've had to kind of heal from this temptation or it could have been that you've had to kind of pull yourself away from a relationship that was either controlling, abusive or just wasn't allowing you to be yourself, yeah? And you've gone through this process of healing now. You're going through this process of allowing your heart to heal and then with that becomes this sense of re the rain which is about renewal it's about cleansing away it's about purification and this card in reverse talks about purifying your mind releasing some of those swords from your mind yeah and that causing a sense of purification a sense of renewal so, then we have the High Priestess and the Mask, right. So, the High Priestess and the Mask. The High Priestess is about using your intuition. It's about things that are being hidden from you, yeah? But it's also about parts of yourself with the Mask that you're, you're hiding from yourself, yeah? And when we're in controlling situations, it's like we, we lose our individu individuality. For some of you, it's also a case that somebody in your relationship or somebody around you is wearing this false sense of mask, this false mask, yeah? They're hiding something from you or there's information that you feel could be hidden, yeah? But the, the mask is also about self-image. But it's allowing yourself to be who you're supposed to be. And when, next to the devil and the wind card, something's trying to pull you off track. So the high priestess or your intuition is trying to pull you back on track again. Yeah? Possibly before this tower moment hits. Yeah? Because the tower can talk about clearing away the ground. It takes away anything that was built on a rocky foundation. <coughs> <clears throat> and the glove is also here, like the universe coming and giving you a helping hand in a sense, yeah? An extra hand. In order to build about more stability, because the glove is also 62, which breaks down to 8, which is about building more stability moving forward. So what's distracting you is the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the Wheel of Fortune could be saying to some of you, like, look, yeah, the wheel's in your favour, things are going well for you, it's a time of luck. But it's also a time of karma when I see this card. So what that means is don't be in a situation where you're going to be putting yourself into more karma. So make wise choices now, yeah? Because this isn't the world card, this isn't the complete phase yet. This is just warning of karma, but it's saying things are going good for you now. But just be careful because the wheel can turn as well. We also have the star of reaching, which just talks about growth and expansion. 
This wheel of fortune is talking about growth and expansion for you as well. So it could be that you have to pull yourself away from something that's limiting you or restricting you or giving you this false sense of a mask in order to grow and expand into your next phase. This is also the card of the Jupiter. So Jupiter's just recently gone forward. So it's about expansion and things coming in because of that. But don't get distracted, yeah? Keep on, make, keep doing the right thing, it's saying as well. So what's helping you is you've got this two of wands here now we've also got this tower here so this tower is this guy standing on top of this tower now he's up there stood there reflecting yeah but it's also about focused attention yeah where are you going to focus your attention now this is clamped to the building it's not going nowhere you've got the whole world in your hands now this is talking about moving forward yeah this is you at the top of your tower looking at things from a new perspective realizing how much of the world still is yet to be conquered how much of the world is still yet to be explored yeah you also got the queen of pentacles now in terms of finances she is the queen of finances she is her internal mindset just thinks finances she's the kind of person or he because it could, doesn't matter it's just an energy can be the kind of person that they make something out of nothing this is like having limited resources but being able to build something strong yeah this is saying that you have that ability and it's also about seeing the value in what it is that you're growing here because it is something of value it is something stable that you're trying to grow as you move forward or that is where your focus should be with the knight and then the queen yeah so any obstacles it's about you finding a way around these obstacles like i said if anything's trying to take you off course or change your direction or make you feel any kind of broken hearted way yeah it's like the universe is saying look use your intuition otherwise it's going to come a point where the universe comes in now this is the wheel of fortune the universe will come in and turn that wheel yeah but just make sure you're on the right side of that decision so you also have the nine of wands here now this is talking about fear you're feeling like you can't get past this obstacle or you have doubts or reservations you're feeling like you can't make it but this is the nine of wands you're almost there now the funny thing is you've got the rod so you've got the nine of rods and then you've got this extra rod which makes your ten now to complete this phase. But it's doing it in a certain style because this one rod would come from the magician, yeah? He would create this, he would will this, he would command this. So it's about getting your will and your command in, in, in unison, yeah? Using your will, using your command to get past this yeah you directing your sense of will you taking control because you also have the knight of swords which is about moving forward in your truth it's about clearing the air here clearing all of this fog that was in your way he's cutting through all that fog with that sword of truth yeah this is also with the bell which is about alerting, yeah, it's talking about you coming in, charging, you knowing what it is you want, and in some senses, the bell ringing in your head that kind of just says, yeah, right, that's where I'm going for, this is where we're going, this is how we're moving forward, it's in a hero type way, yeah, moving forward with your truth, and it's also four with the bell, so there's stability there, yeah it's about you getting in tune and in alignment yeah and once you do once you know in what that truth is and what it is that you want it's about you commanding it and you willing it in with this rod this month yeah i command i decree yeah put set in your intention bringing that in so I really do hope that has helped. If you'd like a personal reading from me, all the information is in the box below. Take care, stay blessed. Thank you. Bye.